What's up everybody? This is Nun Defense on the Grublet account on the team. Grublet YouTube. And we are doing strong call. Well, I'm showing strong call from yesterday. So it's morning for you guys. But it's the night before for me as I'm recording this right now. So if I say today or yesterday and I slip it back and forth. Eh, sorry about the confusion. But it's okay. So we started a strong call this morning, and I'm going to go ahead and show some of the attacks now. I'll then do my attacks, and uh, I'll record anyone else's attacks in the actual morning if, you know, if, if the timing misses. But uh, this is a not great opportunity for me to go ahead and review some of them and get some attacks in. So here we go. Spandrick, we put him on, on quota. We asked for a solo, that's what he delivered. Looks like he went with an all Zuka approach, so let's watch it and appreciate it. Okay, clock is ticking down. I'm sure he's doing something. I guess he uh, had to take a sip of liquid courage, maybe. I'm not sure what happened there. But here he is, he's there, he's ready. Good work, good work. So he had the uh, bullet out there in front, taking all the damage from the rockets, leaving his girls in the rear in order to uh, let them get it from behind. I am going to watch that one more time. I hate that we have to do that long wind down. I want to see the positioning of uh, a bullet a little better. All right, slow it down. So bullet's there. Ah, he shot the bullet. Gotcha. Okay, neat, neat. All right, good to know. That's a uh, that's a good thing to, to know. So he had, so he took advantage of the fact that bullet was going to be out in the lead, let the smoke clear on bullet first, uh, and then you know did his shocking and everything. Okay, cool, cool, got it. So catching a bullet with that shock, that was a large part of it. I have to try to start working that in. That's definitely not a tactic I'm currently using or practicing, but uh, maybe I have to start practicing and using it. All right, smoky crab. This is much smoky crab six, not to be confused with five, four, three, two, or one. Ultimately, this was intended to be a setup attack. He's just going to uh, kind of go generate some gunboat energy to sweep all these mines, which here you see. Um, you know, Mr. Crab, if you ever uh, you know get sick of Commodore, please let me know. Uh, it's just your show station good at it, and you know that. So that's why I keep putting your name on it. it keeps coming up, so might as well put a person on it who's really good at it. Why are we going to regular speed? So there you go. So he's over there. They're working now, and ultimately he did his. Uh... Wait, how did that end? What did you die on? Oh, you retreated. Okay, no, I respect that. I respect that. that was a good tactical retreat. I respect that. I respect a good tactical retreat. I, mean, I don't want anybody ever confuse that and think that uh you know everybody's allowed to retreat in all circumstances no that was a good tactical retreat because now i see what he's doing he wants to send a couple of boats of girls over there he's going to sacrifice uh, some of his punching powder power but in, the, in return he's going to get extra gunboat energy i do not know if he was boosted but i do know he's not he, he's definitely plays above his uh his level um i'm not sure what level this account is it's in the 50s but he plays well above his account level so good job grab it's always fun to watch you work now this did not end in a victory uh from what i saw in the chat it sounds like he had a little bit of an oopsie goofy and that happens but in the grand scheme you know he did everything right you know, no complaints that I could think of. I do wonder if he was boosted, though. It said in the uh, chat that he intended to flare, or he wanted to flare behind that cannon. Okay, I see what happened. So, yeah, so they kind of got hung up over here, messed up the damage output. But that's all right. Our guy Spindrift, remember Spindrift? We just looked at his attack. Well, he has another account on this team. I misspoke this morning when I said he only has one. I forgot he has another account on this team, and that's Spin. See his name right there between XX, Big Sal, XX, Spin, and Lil Sal? Well, that, that's Spin, and it's a powerful account. So we put him to finish this off. He'll knock that out when he has a moment. All right, cool. Commander. Congratulations, Commander. This is where I'm going to cue the cheering sound effects. Excellent. Uh, we got those in because you read the notes, and you more or less did everything exactly what I asked you to do. You went in with Hookah, you went in on the right side, you shot the Doom Cannon, you fought some things, and right when you had a free moment and you recognized you had your shot, you uh, you know, multi-artillery multi or barraged these rocket launchers to get rid of them. This is a good solid attack. Because, you know, again, not everybody can be heroes, not everybody can be monsters, but the other people on the account, on the team, they can you know, they can do their part. They, there's, there's ways to participate. There's definitely ways to participate, and Commander, you participated. Little O. Uh, so this was interesting to, interesting to me because Little O has had zero intel, like zero. Like that, We understand that's an impossible number, zero, because if you accidentally play the game, you're going to get some intel. The fact he had zero for more than 24-hour period, uh, that's impressive. Well, he had a really dumb, really silly attack. I don't want to say dumb. He's a whatever. But I called him about his intel. He said maybe this isn't the right team for him. I was like, well, with that attitude, that attitude absolutely. But he politely left. He's explained to her medical situations in his life. Don is attacking live. Let's go ahead and watch Don. All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> see a bunch of Zookas and Palm Troops. Okay. Kill it. Okay. He's going to regret not hitting that corner with the smoke, but it'll work out. Okay, so he's just... Okay, I see what he's doing. He's just kind of making some space over here on this corner. Leaving me to uh, the opinion that on the next attack, he intends to come up on this side and beat it from the top down. And you know what? That's what he should do. Good job. Got a little uh, battle orders, speed boost, attack boost there. What are we doing? Are you going to flare to the back? Or are you going to come down here and keep working? He wants to keep working down here. All right, nice. So he wants to give his next attack as much space as possible. Good strategy. Everything you can do to make your next attack easier is going to benefit the team. And if you only have one account, anything you do to make your teammates' next attack easier is going to benefit the team. There's all, all kinds of ways to help the team. 
All right, so he's just going out here, taking advantage of the fact that riflemen versus any single shot weapon, be it cannon, snipers, or cannon, uh, can, small cannons, big cannons, or uh, snipers, um, riflemen typically win that battle, especially when you bring enough of them. All right, cool. So this one's about wrapping up. Weakening that rocket just because I know what that was. I was like, well, I don't know what to do now. I've done the thing I intended to do. I guess now I'll just start throwing some bombs at this rocket. Yeah, I know the look. I've seen it. Been there, done that. Nice. Are these guys out of play? All right, so they're still alive. So he's going to probably try to generate enough GD to go ahead and finish popping that rocket launcher. Makes sense. <laughs> Nice. He's going for it. Good to the last drop. That's done. But that was a good attack. He's working on getting everything back up to remember. Just a quick reminder, he used to be completely maxed. He retired, came back. Now he's under level, which is, you know, BS, because he was, you know, one of the best the game had to offer at the time. But we're going to tell him great start, Don. Great. No, not gray five. Great. Not gray five. Great. Great job. Don. Don. With an exclamation point, because I love him. Sweet. All right. So, uh, he's probably going to roll right over. I don't want to miss anything. But anyway, so a little O, left the team. Low level, whatever. Zero intel. You know, people look at my at the Grublet level one landing craft and say, but that's impossible. No, you know what's really impossible in Boom Beach? They have zero intel after a 24 to 48 hour period. That's impossible. So, little O, impressive. Looks like Don wrote a note here. Let's read it. Little account for the win. Okay. Little account for the win, he says. Well, I know a little account. Let me see. Hmm. Pop that. Go there. Pop that. Do I even have to? Hmm. Hmm. How much is on this? Got for the win. We can easily finish. I'm thinking on this, it's probably get edited out as I make all the hmm noises. I mean, if I just pop this, which can. I can pop that, which can. Shop these, which I can. 641. That's the question. Can Grublet do enough damage to drain 641 health off the off the core. I am going to be boosted. <clears throat> I am going to be boosted. Should we do it, team? Mm, I mean, he's got plenty of powder. That's not an issue. Should we, but should we attack there? I'm just going to boost now, because I am attacking soon, no matter what I end up doing. But should I do that? I mean, if I'm being honest, I think Don would be proud of me if I did. Right there. Go and fight these. All right, I'm just hitting attack. I'm putting this in my hands real quick. I know, because sometimes you just got to go with your gut. And my gut was screaming, this is what we should do. So, before I start spinning bombs, let me get all my guys out here. Remember the song, sing it with me. One, two, three, four. Captain Critter, then four more. Okay. Very good. Get everybody over to this corner. So these are fully boosted clone troops. For those who don't understand how the clone troops work, when they die, uh, they then... Uh, it's like the like the head, the head of the Hydra. One rifleman becomes two, but they're weaker riflemen. And then like when those die, they each, those guys get another clone, but they're weaker. So, I mean, it's a, it's a neat little gimmick. You know, it's cute. All right, we got those over there. Let's triple barrage this. One, two, three. See what kind of damage that does. That's a pop. Now let's artillery these. One, two, three, four, five. Six should do it. Killing it. All right, now let's go fight these boom cannons. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Make sure y'all get that. Come down here, critter. That's just to get rid of those mines. So I don't have to worry about those. Flare the machine gun and shock the machine gun. Boom, get that, shock it again. We are not losing any troops. That way we can help it. All right, so there we go. That's the experiment. This is for learning. Really, that was the question. Is Does a fully boosted Grublet win in this scenario? We have a minute and 42 seconds to find out. <clears throat> I mean, it's going down. Minute 30. Yeah, I think we're going to get it. Good job done. He's, when he uh, did his first attack, he put in the notes. Some version of someone's little could probably beat this. Well, this is my little, and I just beat this. Good job, Grublet. Good job. Okay. Neat. So that was fun. And the crowd goes wild. Let's see what Don said. Grublet must really love replicating riflemen. He really does. He really, really does. He really, really does. Uh, so yeah, like for, for Grublet, I'm going to miss these, re these replicating riflemen. They're pretty cool. Okay. Almost, <laughs> Almost gives them a full team. Thank you, Bron. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> oh, that's not lost on you, Brian. Good job. Good job. Oh, almost. Oh, that got me. Uh, that deserves an LMAO. So true, Brian. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, that would that that wasn't as funny as I laughed as I reacted to it, but I guess I needed that. So true, Bron. Here we go. 
<laughs> Brian says, if only there was an upgrade to give you more troops all the time. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, that makes me so happy. And again, these guys are monsters. They have no reason or business to hang out with me, but they put up with Grublet. I don't know why, but they do. They did not let Grublet on their five-man team, and you know what? I don't blame them. <laughs> Bron says, next update, maybe. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, back to what I was doing. I've got to swap accounts. <coughs> oh. oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, sorry, I'm still laughing about that. You know, I gotta, I gotta you know what, guys, I, I need to pause filming. I'm, I'm enjoying this just a little too much, and I, I'm off track, so let me just pause. I'll come back. I'm back. I've calmed down. That was hilarious. Uh, my son was in the, the kitchen just to the left of me, and he heard that whole exchange, and he was giggling about it, and so I just had to pause the video so we could just have a have a good, hearty guffaw. Okay, I was editing the footage that I recorded earlier, and I realized I did not record Habs Attack. So I want to... I'm going to edit it in. So sorry that... Spoilers, the op's beaten. I don't think there was any surprise at this point. But, um, so Hav came in, asked what he could do, and he does not have barrage, so he couldn't, uh... He couldn't, uh... He does not have barrage, so he couldn't do much. But we told him just try to kill as many of the white mines. You know, it, it, I think you'll now understand what shock mines are. Uh, but we plan to just get, just do whatever. Just see what happens. Just kill a few things. We wanted, to, we were just happy to see him attack. He'll get better. He'll get stronger. Is we try, we pride ourselves, and I've always prided ourselves on being a supportive team. And there you go. So, have I didn't want you to get left out of the video. There's your shot, pal. Cue the cheer music. Okay, we get to watch Ron soon attack live. Let's see how he does it. This is with a, a lower account. This is kind of the setup video that uh, the one commenter who uh, wanted us to, who was asking what kind of a benefit, what kind of attacks lower levels can do that would be effective. Uh, you know, this is a this is a good answer, as good as any. When you see a bunch of cannons and machine guns, that's a great time to throw gren grenadiers. You'll hear me make fun of grenadiers because I don't like them and I refuse to like them. But they do have opportunities like this. So if you're the kind of player who likes this, then that's something. That's something players can do. Let's check the chat and to get the low hanging fruit washed. Your balls, balls. You had to wash your balls. Wash your balls. All right. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, while he's been over there just throwing grenades, he's just been. What's happening is we're trying to get rid of all these. I mean, all the mines. The green ones are bad as well. But these shock mines, like they really, they really throw slow down the party. Because it sucks when your uh, Zuka dies to uh, when your Zuka dies to stepping on a green mine. But it sucks worse, in my opinion, when your Zuka gets stuck on a on a shock mine and then dies. So it's like the worst of both worlds. Hmm. We're just supporting uh, Hav, letting him know that even though he's a low level, we support him. He says that uh, he's upgrading to his level 9. Upgrade your landing craft. First, gunboat. Second, armory. Armory third. HQ fourth. <laughs> he asked for some tips, and oh, that's why I love us. He asked for some tips. Don chimed in. Uh, I'll never collect resource boat until it's full enough to upgrade something. Grab says, rush your uh, offense over defense. Always get loot, be offensive. Sal, Sal says, uh, this isn't for level 9, uh, but or he says it isn't specific to level 9, but in general, never go to sleep without something upgrading. Uh, and then I was like, hey, upgrade your landing craft first, gunboat second, armory third, HQ fourth. <laughs> oh, God, I love this team. Welcome to the team, Have That's how we do it. <laughs> I have to point that out. Four <laughs> skilled players. Offered completely different tips. <laughs> and they <laughs> were all correct. Okay, so I've been put on hacking duty. So I'm going to swap over to Scorched Ear. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, we've decided uh, they want some hacking done. I'm I don't know. Is it safe for me to say that I'm one of the best hackers out there? I certainly have a lot of experience hacking. 
on, on, on difficult operations. So I'm gonna, my intention is to get up there. Uh, hopefully I can hack all three shock launchers. Yeah, everybody's just jumping on half now. It's like, oh, you asked for advice? Well, here's all of it. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm not drunk tonight or no higher than normal. I'm just, I'm in a good mood. We're feeling good. Oh, I've got to go swap over to the hack. Well, let me send my boat up my submarine out. Uh, I don't like leaving things floating. There's another good tip. Don't leave things floating if they're there. Oh, that was good. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade my defense. Good job, Hav. Good job, Hav. See, that's all we need from our lowers is just ask, ask what, need, what's, what should happen. Like, we don't give a fuck about your defense. Use the language. I'll try, maybe, maybe I'll remember to beat that out, but... We don't care about your defense. It's fine. This is an offensive game. We need offensive-minded players. We need you to think like an offense. Like, think like, you know, that you're on the attack all the time, because we are. Oh, and I didn't swap over to my hack. Glad I checked. All right, we are boosted. We are ready for war. Okay. So, got plenty of gunboat energy. <clears throat> so, let me go ahead and spare my brothers one artillery. Or not artillery, barrage. And one critter. Nice. And one bomb. There you go. All right, those are my brothers. Okay, so now we're going to go straight up here. Easy. Okay. Okay. Hack. Target. So will I get the next smoke off in time to hack and not die? All right, I'm going to make it because I don't want to take another hit like that. And this is important. Okay. You, you, and you. Hack. Nice. Will I get the next one? No. Come on, don't die. Ah, that's alright. Two hacks. Not bad. Is that thing gonna pop? Please pop. I mean, we did all that work. Really? Lame. Whatever. This is why we brought troops. It's time to get in there and fight some stuff. So we don't have all the gunboat in the world now. We used a lot on that. So we're just gonna let them work. And I'm gonna bomb this one. Bomb this one. So I don't even care what the troops are doing down there. I've already accepted that I brought dead men to battle. And that's what I need you to do as well. Just remember that they're, they're already dead. They never had a chance. Cool. Send a barrage artillery there. So we're just letting them do. This is not designed to be a beautiful attack. But so far, so good. Fairly satisfied with the overall results. Okay, cool. There it went. Let's see what the chat says. Okay, not my worst attack. That's all right. Worst attack. 32, so that's uh, two barrages, one artillery maybe? Save the core, really? <clears throat> um, all right. If someone pops Commodore... Um, C O M O N D O R. <clears throat> and protect thing. All right, so the guys want to be goofy. We're having a good time. We've got the attacks. We're well ahead of schedule. All in all. Let's see. Uh. <clears throat> I mean, if we're going to protect the core, for those who don't know, protecting the core means that uh, you save the core for very last. Do I support these guys and their desire? Because, I mean, I'm ready to attack. <laughs> like, I'm boosted. I'm ready. Whatever. Let's protect the core. <sighs> okay, change of plan. I'm going to go be Commodore. And let you guys goof on Fang. Alrighty. So we diamond finished over to over to uh, Scorch a Deer. We boosted. And now I'm going to go beat Commodore. Lame, because I love my team and I want them to have a good time. Uh, so I'm going to just go over here and pop it. Go for it. Ready. Ready either way. Alright, cool. So Lil Sal wants to see if he can do Commodore. So he's going to shoot for it. <clears throat> God, I love this team. Alright, so this is Lil Sal. Yes, I know my battery's almost dead. I'll go back inside in a minute. Sorry for wanting to, you know, be out and breathe fresh air. I can technically bring my charger out here, but it's all the way inside. And I tend to go there after. I gotta get back in there. Okay. Old Sal. We love him. He's a great player. Hella funny. Like, I don't use the word hella often. Um, 
but he is definitely a funny dude. Always has a good joke. Always makes us laugh. One. I mean, so far so good. That little uh, spread at the end, that's important because the Zookas kind of want to spread out once they get up to their destination point. So you try to mitigate that at the cost of uh, one smoke. So you got it? You got it. Boom. Killing it. Okay, let's protect the core. Save the core. Great work, everybody. Great work. He still got it. Yeah, he didn't, says he didn't have enough to shock. But there we go. Uh, protecting the core now, team. So, pop, get rid of that. And uh, to truly protect the core, that means we have to get everything. So, we are flaring. Boom, boom. Dropping troops. That was a power drop. Remember, notice, see how I did that? And all my uh, bombardiers came off first? That was by design. That was not by mistake. Okay. So far, so good. I'm just going to keep this grouping of uh, rockets locked down so they don't fire at my bombardiers. Because I do things like that. I'm accepting whatever damage is happening over by the core. Just want to make sure my bombardiers don't take any fire. <coughs> Okay, got to shock that grouping. So remember, this is protected core. That means I have to destroy everything except the core. So if you're watching, it's like, why isn't he going after the core? Because we're playing a game. The boys want to play. We have the attacks. Now, if you're on a team where you're not sure that your guys are going to come through and get their attacks in, I get it. You don't want to do this. Take the win. It's right in front of you. But uh, my boys come through. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're freaking monsters. You've heard me say it a million, de billion de times. No, don't start shooting at my bombardiers now. You ain't got the right. You hear me? You ain't got the right. So there can be no survivors. No, don't, don't, start, don't start bombing that. I'll start bombing that. Get away from that. Okay. I'm going to throw a shock over here just to kind of get these guys out of play. Get up here. Smoke my bombardiers. Okay. Doing good. Doing good. Now oh, we're mad, man. This is so silly. It's such a waste. But there you go, team. When I started off this morning, I, I knew in my heart it was going to be way too easy for us. And here we, here we are. I've got 170 gunboat. 50 seconds left. But remember, this is protect the core. This is all about destroying everything. Everything has to be destroyed. You have to protect the core. Okay. Let's start shocking here. So silly. So silly. Let's keep these locked down. Just can't let them fire at my bombardiers. We discussed this. Ten seconds. Bomb here. Boom. Okay, so y'all saw me play Protect the Core on BBA. Well, Don went in a little bit after me while I was editing. And he used all clone troops. Because, again, we're playing Protect the Core now. So uh, he's going in just doing this and just having a good time. Let's speed it up. Um, it's it, it's great to be at the end of an op and still have so many attacks left that you know for a fact are going to attack um, if they get the opportunity that we can just start goofing around. And uh, so, yeah, we are very blessed in that regard. But we clearly need to step up to a harder op. So we will be doing a uh, uh, choke point next. Um, you know, I'll try to keep videos going. Sometimes I'm just busy and I have to just start the op and keep the notes like stupid simple or no, if notes at all. Uh, for the players that, you know, we don't consider monsters and don't consider themselves monsters, I try to uh, make sure that they have something to do, that they're pointed in a direction. And I'm grateful that the guys don't step on when, when, we, when I notate a base for the, for the, you know, the less experienced players. Uh, I'm just grateful for the fact that they don't go in and hog up all the action. They step back, they step aside. There are other bases that they need to go focus on. Um, so, Commander, have y'all showed up. Y'all answered the bell. Thank you for that. Bort shows up, and I'm just going to tell you exactly what he says. He says, uh, where'd he pull up? Uh, Bort pops up and says, looks like y'all had some fun with this op. Bron, on one of, uh, Bron got a new alt, and he's added the team since we last filmed. Uh, he says, yeah, we definitely need to move up. I said, too much fun. Bort went in. He got the win. Yeah, we're going to look at that. He said it was a mercy kill. So, good job, Bort. He went in with one bow to Zookas because, again, we're still playing Protect the Core at this point. So that means technically he can't kill the Core until everything else is destroyed. That's the rule. So one bow to Zookas. This is pretty clever. He threw critters over here, but not over here because critters would go to the Core and start fighting the Core. A couple of those girls got on the Core a little early. He flared them off it, but finished the job, and it was indeed a mercy kill. He, 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 barraged, uh, he barraged his own girls. Good job. So there you go. We beat the op. We, we beat Stronghold. We will do other ones, uh, much harder ones. Uh, we're we're going to be clicking now, folks. We're going to be clicking. It's just going to get we're gonna get stronger, better, faster, meaner, nastier. going to have a really great time. Bye. All right, friends, let me go ahead. This is where I do the close. Friends, family, brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, Mrs. Misters, I want to thank y'all so much for taking the time out of your day to spend with us. I hope you're liking what I'm, what I'm showing you. I want to be better, desperate for feedback. Um... Anything you have to say, good or bad, anything you love, tell me. Anything you hate, really tell me. Put it on me. Don't don't hold back. You think I'm too mean? Tell me. You think I'm not mean enough? Tell me. I need to hear it. That'll be good for me. 
constructive criticism. We'll all grow together. So again, friends, thank y'all. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day.